Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. Okay, you guys voted and here it is, the record that you wanted to see reviewed first from the latest haul. We did a live poll during our last live show. You guys voted, this is the one that won. So here it is, the Partridge Family Sound Magazine record. Now I have not been a huge Partridge Family fan, not because I don't like them. Uh, I just was not as familiar. I kind of thought, you know, is it like a Brady Bunch knockoff? You know, blah, 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 blah. I don't, it, it's really not at all. A completely different thing. Early 70s show, uh, I think it was, uh, the pilot was made in 69 and then it ran for a few years in the early 70s. But the, the gist of the show was that the mom, played by Shirley Jones, uh, was a single mother who had this, uh, these kids that were a musical bunch and they went on road and she uh, on the road to perform, and she was a part of it too. So it was, uh, you know, single mother raising a family that also happened to be in show business. That was the gist of it. And uh, from here, a couple of well-known names emerged. Uh, besides uh, Shirley Jones herself, obviously we got David Cassidy and uh, uh, Bonaducci over here. David is it Danny? Danny Bonaducci. <laughs> <laughs> who uh, made headlines a couple of years ago for body slamming somebody on a on an award show. But uh, interesting uh, thing we got going on here because these people were not only actors, but they were actual mu musicians as well. So this record, and we'll try and date it here. On the, on the live show, we tried to date it. We came around with about 1972, 73, um, based on some information on the back. But this is kind of like... Teen Bop magazine, Tiger Beat, that kind of stuff, totally targeted uh, to the uh, to the teenage fans. As you can see, it's you know Sound Magazine. It's a hip happening place. You know, just just totally like Tiger Beat magazine. <laughs> if you know what that is, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So there's all kinds of stuff on here, starring Shirley Jones, featuring David Cassidy. And uh, this issue features, I woke up in love this morning, Echo Valley, One Night Stand, blah, 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 blah. Join the Partridge Family fan club. So was this really a magazine like they would issue? I mean, being that it was a musical family, a show about a musical family with all these musicians, I would assume that there literally would be, you know, so much material that they could do a magazine record if as it were i'd never have heard of a thing but let's check this out on the back here so great artwork i love this stuff stay up to date with the partridge family so much is going on the family album the first album the second album here it is an all new 1972 so there's the date partridge family fan club now check out some of the copy on this this is great a sizzling dazzling fun packed new partridge family fan club jammed full of the greatest goodies ever so much cool stuff to look at this is a bell records it's part of columbia and really interesting to see all of this stuff on here really really cool pictures little tidbits you can read i think it would have been cool if they made this a gatefold they did not though so let's take a look at the record i have not cleaned these yet i haven't done any work i love the bell uh sound label i think it's one of the coolest labels out there and let's see i think we did kind of do an initial grading on that live show it's pretty dirty fingerprints dust all that stuff the kind of record i feel totally comfortable throwing on the changer so let's do just that this is side two so let's flip it around to side one man that is a dirty record dirty dirty record but that is okay actually I'm in the process of testing some new cleaner, and this would be a great subject for it. So let's go ahead and give it a listen. We'll flip through a couple different tunes and see what you guys think. Have you guys, did you guys have this record? Do you have it? Do you have any others in the series? Really cool stuff. I'm gonna turn up the volume here. Now, one thing I always try to do when I'm doing these types of things is put the stylus down in the middle of the record. Okay, this is so hideously dirty, we need to at least dry brush it. I mean, it needs a full, full on cleaning, but let's get some of the junk out of there. I have some standards. I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> I literally, this show is literally like just me doing records and, you know, enjoying things and learning things. 
there's no pretense whatsoever as if you couldn't tell okay let's go ahead and lower down and listen to the second track here <laughs> So obviously this is going to be pop music, very popular music of the time. Very 70s too, of course. Very, very 70s. As you would expect, it's a product of the time. Yeah, I was never really into Partridge Family. I knew of the Partridge Family, and I knew some of these, you know, personalities, but... But I never, like, watched the show, really. I mean, I've seen clips, and... Um, but that's about it, really. Um, by the way, I am using the vocal mic, so the mic's pointed in the opposite direction of the record player, so if it sounds a little hollow, it's because... You're hearing the sound kind of bouncing around here, but for for what we're doing today, I think that's fine. It's also in mono. The microphone. You know, I've noticed with this changer, and a lot of people have said, I've, you know, we talk about the speed, it's a little bit fast, you know, which I guess is pretty typical. A lot of people have said, you just gotta take it for what it is. Realize it's not gonna be perfect sound. Um, which I get, and that's totally fine. I mean, I've got the LP7 next to it, which is a solid audio performer. But sometimes it's just nice to put on some records and let them do their thing automatically. But I have noticed, today I was listening to this unit a lot, and I noticed that um, there's some speed inconsistencies. You'll get like this kind of... So, who knows? Who knows? I mean, I have $15 in the player and then another 18 in the stylus, so considering why I invested in it and how clean it is and you know from a historical standpoint I think it's all good but interesting when you sit next to a record player for eight hours you start to notice it's little idiosyncrasies you know considering how dirty this record is sound quality is not that bad so once I run it through the spin clean it ought to sound pretty good <laughs> David Cassidy passed away just a couple of years ago. It's obviously a major heart throb. Shirley Jones is still alive. She's in her 80s. Bonaducci's still alive. kind of music that my dad would have experienced in his high school years because this is right about when he was in high school cool interesting stuff definitely an interesting record and um yeah well i'm sure we'll see it down the road i'll keep i'll hold on to it i have no reason to to sell it or anything i mean it's cool even though i'm not a huge huge fan but um, I don't have anything against it. I'm just neutral, but let's take another look at this. Let's see if there's anything on the back there. That we missed. Some of this, I love, love, love this stuff. So let's see if we can focus here. Bear with me. Come on. New membership card, the Partridge poster. And the brand new book, Growing Up with the Partridge Family. Special record featuring the voices of David, Susan, Shirley, Danny, Suzanne, and Brian. They'll tell you everything you've been waiting to hear. It's a good thing they got Brian on there because that is a deal maker right there. So anyway, if one final look here. The cover, very colorful, very, very neat. And for those of you that have fond memories of the Partridge family, probably very nostalgic. So, And for those of the rest of us that uh, didn't necessarily grow up with it, it's certainly an interesting piece of history. There he is. Mr. Cassidy right there. Cool. All right, guys, let me know down in the comments below if you have this record. Tell me more about this Sound Magazine thing. 
was this specific to the Partridge family? And was this a series or is this just a clever name of an album? So I'd be curious to learn more about it. But anyway, that's going to do it for now, guys. Happy record hunting. We will see you tomorrow.